The next exercise is called the catch and release. We're gonna stand in an athletic position. And Scott is actually a regular foot, so his dominant foot is his back foot, which is his right foot, okay? And so we're gonna start with the club in that back hand. Right. He's gonna choke up a little bit on the club because I really wanna be able to have him keep it nice and parallel to his forearm. And this is gonna be something that we're gonna lead into in, in, in another exercise called the figure eight. Right? This is very surf specific, but this is just the warm-up portion of it. All right. So now what he's gonna do, he's just gonna do, come across that body, he's gonna catch the head of the club with his off hand, right? And back down, just relax, okay? Now he's gonna push with that back hand a little bit. What you notice is, once again, good. Scott's back foot is his right foot, right? And that's where most of his weight should be, is on that back foot. So you see him using that back hip to initiate that motion. And coming back around, good. And you wanna do about 20 of these, and then we'll actually even switch to the other side, right? Let's even go to the left side. So now the club is in his front hand, right? He's gonna do the same motion, but once, you, once again, what you're gonna notice is that his weight is again on his back foot, right? So he's still probably 60 to 40, 60% 60 on his back leg, which is his right leg. Good. Catching the club, pushing back down, good. That's good. So now we've incorporated the upper extremities, some rotation, some core, all in a surface of the pattern. And that is the catch and release.